Hi, floppy catters. Oh, don't go. <laughs> this is the whole purpose of the video. You cannot leave. Oh, no. We'll get it. It's okay. It's okay. Get it. <laughs> get it. Woo. 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 Are you pissy pants? What are you pissy pants about? It's okay. It's okay, ladies. I know. I interrupted. I know I interrupted your flow. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm just needing a little bit more. No. <laughs> Hold up, floppy getters. Ooh. Well, he was needing, and then he decided to stop, so, because as soon as I said, hey, floppy catters, then he left. Well, if nobody's watching us. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right time of night to be doing our vlogging. What do you think? Whoa. You look pretty miserable. Whoa. <laughs> it's funny, because he's, like, completely, um like limp on me, which is rare for him, but, but he looks miserable. Hold up. Oh, sorry guys. My fingers are slipping. Well, you could have just told him that you wanted to need and say, I wanted to need. I didn't want one of her talking. I was too busy needing. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> don't go anywhere. No, <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I got a huge mat out of Charlie today down by his private parts. Right, Will? What was going on down there? You are so pissy pants, but you're also pretty limp. I haven't felt you this limp. The goes. A bit more normal. Wow. I'm gonna put my tail. <laughs> Will, you got a little bit of airplane ears. How come you just stop needing? We didn't need to stop needing. I know, boo. I'm really surprised at how limp Charlie is on me right now. Let's see if I can, hold on, I gotta get a better grip of my fingers. He's usually not that limp. He, he usually is like stiff as a board. Well, <laughs> I'm not holding on to him very tight either, but you can tell he's pissy pants. Look at the tail. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. I have got to get out of here. Cersei, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go, Cersei? Somebody messed up your blaze. You should hire somebody to take better care of you. Who messed up your blaze? Who messed it up? <laughs> I wanted to do a whole video of Charlie kneading on me because this is what he does when watching Netflix right now. And he likes to sit on me and knead um, while I watch Netflix. But as soon as I started this live video, he stopped. Because I said, hi, floppy cutters. You want to go outside? You good cheats? <laughs> watch his eyes move while I say things that he knows well. You want to go outside? You good cheats? You good hungries? <laughs> I love the white part of a cat's eyes or a dog's eyes. He's like, blow my ear one more time. I'm going to take you down. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at his paws. Oh, Susie. You're a good kitty, Woo. You're a good kitty. I know. Oh, this is something I, I do with my cats all the time. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, you're really going to have to hold on because I dropped the phone. Whoa, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I take their ear into my mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes, in my mouth. And then I bite it a little bit. But I don't, um, I don't bite it with my teeth. I bite it with my lips. <laughs> and both of them are totally used to it. <laughs> As you can tell, it's like, oh, God, psychopath on the loose again. Will somebody please find me a new owner? She's nuts. Hold up. So someone wrote, oh, Adrian said, love to see you holding Charlie. Never seen that before. Yes, it's a rarity. Um, actually, though, 
our, our most popular video on YouTube is um, how to how to hold a ragdoll cat or how to pick up a ragdoll cat, which was a video that someone requested and I just I did it and it all of a sudden became our most popular. I know you want to go hold it, hold it up. We got to answer some more questions. So I do hold him in that video. He likes to be held, actually. Um, Linda said, Jenny, what is your thought on freeze-dried food for your cats? Uh, uh oh It, like, uh, comments fade away when you try to read them, so it's hard. I'm not talking about treats. I mean, for a meal, I have almost two-year-old ragdoll named Micah. He's a little boy. Thanks. Hmm. Um... I think freeze dried is hard because um, Denise, yeah, just um, commented about Stella and Chewy's. It's probably better quality than dry food, but for me, it's still dry food, so you still have a kidney issue um, where you're not getting a lot of moisture. So that's my problem with freeze dried food. Um, but if you rehydrate it, then maybe it will work just fine. Look how happy he is. Just delighted. <laughs> Wooey. Oh, Emily, that's funny. Are you tipsy? No, I'm not. I'm actually really tired, and I, I do act um, drunk when I'm tired. So that's funny that you <laughs> asked that. I don't drink a, a, um, very often, actually. Woo, don't go anywhere. When I drink, I drink to get drunk. So, oh, gosh, I hope there aren't, like, a bunch of young kids watching this um so that's it like at weddings and parties and stuff like that but I don't um, I actually don't have any alcohol in my house not really on purpose I think I have some wine but I don't drink on a regular basis at all um okay yeah Denise said I love Stella and she's freeze-dried food of course I rehydrate with lots of warm water okay cool how often should you feed your cat can cat food a day? I feed my cat once a day. Um, I don't know. Um, I feed mine twice a day and then sometimes three times a day, depending on how much they eat. Um, I'm not really regimented with my, how I feed my cats, but now I'm like trying to concentrate on not being tired and slap happy. Um, so that it doesn't look like I'm tipsy. Um, well, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So the canned food, um, it really depends on your cat. But I, like, my mom's pretty much very regimented. She does, like, two cans in the morning and two cans in the evening. One can for each cat. Um, but mine get two cans in the morning, two cans in the evening. And if those are finished and gone, then they get more cans. Like I don't, I don't hold back for them. Um, because some days they eat more. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's very boring without you. <laughs> um, they eat more than other days. Like, you know, when like today, for example, the reason I'm tired is I worked in my yard and then I went for a run and I just ate dinner and I've had a shower. So I want to go to bed. No, 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 don't go anywhere. This is no. <laughs> so, um, you know, my diet is going to be different because of all the calories I ate. And same with my cats. When they eat more calories, um, they're going to want more food. Right, Woo? So I just give them more food. My cats, when they're on wet food only, um, never had a weight problem. So that's something also to consider. They also never wanted to drink water which is good because they're getting enough. Um, Wendy said we use Primal and add a lot of water and mix it in. Okay, well, that's good. And then, yeah, Denise said that I use lots of water in it. Good. Wendy, I felt so stupid yesterday when we were talking about Milo. Uh, I see lots and lots and lots of ragdolls. Um, People are emailing them, posting. Oh, <laughs> I'm laying on one of those um, 
I don't acupressure mats. And so he's kind of on one of them too. And I think one of them sna snagged his fur. So he, he was like, what, what was that? What, what, what was that? So Wendy, back to Milo. Um, I actually like have to see the picture of the cat again to remember who or what I was talking about. Because if I go by names, <laughs> I'm, I'm bouncing to keep myself awake. And I think when I bounce, it makes him go back into the um, acupressure mat and then he gets mad. Wooey, I'm so sorry. I stopped bouncing. But if I fall asleep, that's the problem. Um, I don't, it, it's like my mom, my mom always says it's like, I don't forget her face, but I definitely forget a name. Same goes with cats. I'm pretty good with cat, um, the look of a cat, but I'm terrible with names. So Wendy, I really apologize for that mix up yesterday. Cause I was like Milo. And then also some people have different names on Facebook than they do on like YouTube, for example. So it's really hard to keep track of people. Okay. I know. I'm going to see you later. Will I see you later? Okay. I'm going to go. Hold up, guys. I'm going to go find Trig because, oh, that hurts to get up with your acupressure mat. Um, because Trig's a better, better participant when it comes to selfies. Hold up. I got to pick him up. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. It's very dark in here. I know. Let's come here. All right, I'm going to put the phone down for a second. <laughs> okay, let's go. Trig um, does a better job at, at <laughs> being paralyzed um, by the person that's holding him. Oh, it hurts. Okay, hold up. Um, okay. Yeah, see, Denise said my cat is Milo, too. I love Charlie's blaze and white chin. He is so gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I love his blaze, too. That's why I wanted him. Um, when he said I'm the same, horrible with names, too. Why no collars? Um, Christy, I, um, I want to... <laughs> this is how, like, slap happy... I am is that I want to be like, well, my mom didn't wear a collar, so I decided not to wear a collar. Um, I was raised with an, in, an indoor cat and there was no need for him to have a collar. And so mine don't have collars. Um, look at Chiggy and he the best. Um, so I don't know. I tried it when I first got them thinking that maybe that would be a good idea, but they both acted like I had, um, you know, seriously violated who they are. So I just didn't continue on with it. Christy said mine have them because of any emergency. Yes, I, I understand the value of a collar. The other thing is, you know, if they were to get outside, you got to make sure you have breakaway collars because cats have lost their lives from basically hanging themselves um, trying to get over like a chain link fence and then the collar gets caught on the chain link fence and then they can't get down and um, you know it ends up becoming a death because they were um, they were stuck on the fence what are you doing I'm gonna eat your face I say that to my cats all the time last summer when I was with my parents um, and my cats were, my parents have a lake house. It's like three hours South from here. And when I go down there, um, I bring my cats. So then my cats and my parents' cats and my parents' dog are all together. And, and of course I'm like with the cats all the time because I adore my parents' cats. And, um, <laughs> so I'm always like, I'm going to eat your face. And my dad's like, what <laughs> are you talking about? Will, you're going to eat, look, look who's back. <laughs> That's a will. Will. I'm going to try to t turn Chiggy around, okay? So I might, because Chiggy's face is fun. Jay, got to turn around. Jay. 
Um, Adrian, this is this is for snuggle for Trig. He does not normally like to um, like look at this. So awesome. <laughs> um, he he will stay here as long as I want him to, but he doesn't want to be here. Right? Trig and and Camus, my parents' cat that I just referenced, are very similar because. Um, when you hold them, they almost become like paralyzed if you're sitting down and stuff like that. But if you're not sitting down, um, then Trig pretends like he needs to launch off of you. But if you're just sitting down, like watching TV, he'll stay forever. Um, Stacy said, I bought a litter robot. I love it. Awesome. I love my litter robots. One of them though, I'm having a little bit of a problem with right now. So I'm going to check in with Little robot customer service. Stacey, how's it going? Like, have you tried it with your cats and stuff? Um, and for those of you watching that aren't familiar with Little Robot, we, um, we've done lots and lots of videos on it. Um, I have two, they make two different colors. They make a bisque and a gray one. Yeah, bisque and gray, I think the names. So one's like an off white and then the other one's like a dark charcoal gray. And, um, it it's so awesome for so many reasons and um most of all that your cats always have a clean litter box i need to turn you around i'm going to turn you around wendy did i know that you had a litter robot great probably probably knew that and about milo oh my goodness um, S. Isaac says, I have to get a purebred ragdoll. They are great animals. They are great animals. Um, and something that I kind of worry about sometimes with, with the whole Charlie and Trig thing is, or just like the general ragdoll stereotypes is how much people rely on those and like expect the cat to come out like that. So It's so, it, cats have souls and they have different personalities. And if you get a breed, you're not guaranteed all of the stereotypes that fit that breed. So um, I really, really encourage you to just, um, if you do, if you're wanting to get a breed, get it more for um, like a color pattern and the size than the personality. Because after having floppy cats for 11 years, I have certainly learned that you can't rely on breed stereotypes and that people do it way too much and then get disappointed. Hold up. Um, okay. Stacy says, I... Oh, okay, she's tried it out, the litter robot with her cat, and she had no problem. Um, she took to it right away. Shiggy's trying to launch. <laughs> She's not even paying attention to me. I turned around. Oh, airplane ears. If I hold Chiggy long enough, he'll get annoyed and he'll start meowing, but hold up. Um, Marianne Brown said, oh my God, I just logged in to see you and your beautiful trig. Um, Miss Aster Dancer, do you have to take away the regular litter boxes to get them to use Litter Robot? Um, you can, but you don't have to. Um, we have two litter robots and then three regular litter boxes. Um, and Wendy said, okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn him around. Oh, oh Chiggy, Chiggy, you're such a launcher. <laughs> okay, this is when it gets good, kids. When, when he starts meowing is when it gets good. I know, Chiggy, oh. Down my J. <laughs> Look how pissy pants he is. J. J. <laughs> this is horrible. I shouldn't be laughing. Okay, I think Wendy said that she's had five ragdolls and all of their personalities are different. Yes, there are 11 living ragdolls in our family right now. And, um, in my, on my mom's side of the family is where all the ragdolls are. They're all different. Not, I mean, you, there's similarities, of course, 
between the two, like I just referenced um, Camus and Trigg earlier on in this video, <laughs> this face is like a total annoyance. But when the meows start, that's when the good stuff starts coming. Yes. Oh my. So S. Isaacs just said, does he get the zoomies? Trig loves to run around. We'll get his little paw. Um, he, when I come home at nighttime, like when I'm here, when he knows I'm here for the rest of the night, he will totally run all over the place. He runs in my living room from like the top of one chair to the bottom, to the, hi baby. Oh, enjoy you. Um, He'll run from one chair to the other. He's turned around again. Hold on. Oh, Che. Oh, Che. Okay, I think I covered it. Stacy said, I still have my old cat litter box, or my old cat box. My litter robot stopped halfway through the cycle, and it was upside down when I got home from work. Stacy, that is the problem that I'm having with my gray one right now. It's, oh. I mentioned this the other day that whenever um, I have cat hair on my nose, it itches like crazy. So um, sorry about that. But that's the one, that's the problem I'm having with my gray one right now. And I need to call Litter Robot and see what the problem is. Okay. I think I'm caught up on comments. <laughs> Christy said, my pinky has those evil eyes too. Chicky's eyes aren't ever evil, but... They're definitely, look at it, he's still freaking annoyed. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Hannah said, my friend had a rag doll and he was very, so very cute. Oh, Stacy said, my little robot stopped rotation and it was upside down, so I have kept my old cat box just in case it stopped through the cycle. Yes. That, I mean, little robot says that you don't need to. Um, you know, have the, you don't need to have another litter box, but I don't totally rely on the automation completely. I just don't want to risk it. So that's why we have it. I'm cleaning Trig's ears right now. She gets, so she compared to Charlie is really oily. So he gets a lot of earwax. He gets these little, um, um, like caps um, of like skin mucus stuff on his nipples, which my sister loves to help me pull off. Um, and we've thought about doing a video about it, but I haven't done it yet because frankly, they're just too fun. It's like, if you guys like the pop zits, it's like that. And it's really fun to pull them off. Um, Chiggy's coat is a little bit better than Charlie's. Like it doesn't, matte very much because it's so um oily it doesn't feel oily or anything but you know just how some people have more natural oils that's what chiggy has what else about you chiggy oh and he gets cat zits bad like underneath his chin and if you don't know what i'm talking about um you can go on youtube which you're already on and um search for cat zits floppy cats and um i have a video about that Jay, my tummy is full from dinner. Um, okay. Denise said a friend of mine has a litter robot and it gets stuck. Oh, it gets stuck almost every time it runs. I would um, seriously have that person um, contact customer service with litter robot. You can email them, you can phone them, and I think they might have a live chat. I think there's three ways that you can get a hold of them. But they're awesome, and I, I mean, it should not be doing that. They could also, the litter level could be too high, um, or it could be too much weight, and that's why it um, is doing that. That happened with my white one when I first got it. I was pretty ignorant about the litter level, so that's what was happening there. Um, when I'm looking at the, the video weird, it's because I'm trying to read the comments on the screen. When you see my finger, that's me trying to look at the comments. My ragdoll mix would would ride around on the robot. Oh, yeah. Um, Roomba vacuums are pretty cool. So S. Isaac said that his, his or her ragdoll mix would 
ride around on the robot vacuum. Um, oh, Miss Astor Dancer said, I use a natural bristle butt brush and I use slightly diluted witch hazel and brush their chins and it ke kept the chins that's under control. I, are, is witch hazel safe for cats? Um, Chiggy really wants to go. I don't know about that, but I um, I actually just removed the problem. So Chiggy's big problem with his zits comes from plastic. So as long as he doesn't eat out of plastic bowl or doesn't have anything plastic to lay his head on, then he usually... <laughs> I know, hold on. Chiggy, hold up. <laughs> no, I know you, no, come here. Ooh. <laughs> He's just like a lump, so it's hard to move him around with one hand. There we go. So as long as Chiggy doesn't have those that plastic, then he doesn't get his zits. Right, Chiggy? Yeah, no. I haven't got my zits for a long time. They're like pretty random now. It's like once a quarter. I don't really keep track of it. Charlie is in the bathroom. I don't know what he's doing in there. Oh, I think he's getting in the box. Charlie was in the video at the beginning. He got pretty annoyed, so he left. But that was, he was supposed to be kneading on me and then, Woo, what are you doing? Oh, I showed this earlier with Charlie. So, no, don't go anywhere. <laughs> This is what I do. I bite their ears. They're really used to it. I mean, I don't... It's more of like a love bite. I don't really bite, bite down. Look, it looks like he is it there right now, but I don't think he does. All right. Oh, Okay. So Miss Astrid, Astrid Dancer says that Witch Hazel is okay. And she rinses her chins with water after and dry and dries with paper towels. Marianne Brown said, have you ever used a pet psychic? Yes. I actually consult with one on a regular basis. Um, her name is Holly Jacobs and she is currently working on a website. She's been doing um, pet communication for like 30 years maybe, but she has a LinkedIn and I can always send you her information if you want to check it out. She's so pretty pants. I'm a big believer um, in that stuff. And when I first started Floppy Cats, <laughs> I um, interviewed a lot, a lot of animal communicators. So um, I got an idea of like, what to look for, but Holly actually came, she's local in Kansas City, um, but she came to me recommended by, um, I think my massage therapist that I was going to at the time. Um, and we just get along really well, but um, animal communicator, a good animal communicator only needs a photo of your cat um, with its eyes, because eyes are the windows to the soul. And just make sure that nobody else is in or in the photo, like no other living soul's eyes. Like she wouldn't want a picture of me and Trig. If she was going to talk to Trig, she'd want just a picture of Trig because um, otherwise um, I might come through. Um. Okay, so... Miss Astrid Dancer is talking about witch hazel still and said that um, you can Google it about cat's chin. S. Isaac says your videos have really helped me. Cool. I'm glad to do it. <laughs> Miss Astrid Dancer says call me Dancer. Um, Christy, thank you. I adore my cats. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I gotta read these comments and then we're gonna go. Okay, and then we'll go to the night. Okay. Um, <laughs> Stacy said, my boyfriend is looking at me like I have lost my mind. 
with you talking, um, with you talking, laughing out loud, he cracks me up. Um, Wendy, if you'll send me, oh, don't go anywhere. If you'll send me your information or send me an email, I'll send you Holly's information so that you can check it out and check her out. Yes, I actually, my, my eyes are killing me right now because my contacts need to be taken out. Um, so Stacy asked, no, I'm not going to go anywhere. Do you ever get cat hair in your eyes? I always get cat hair in my eyes. I always end up having to pick them out. Oh my gosh. Pick it out your eyeballs with tweezers. I would never even approach my eyeballs with tweezers. Oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my. No, there, no, you, no, no, there has got to be a better way to tackle that problem. <laughs> No, just stop doing that now. I know I hate to tell people what to do, but I cut my cornea one time and that sucks. And when you cut your cornea, it sucks. Don't use tweezers in your eyeballs anymore. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is so wrong on so many levels. Ugh, makes me want to keep my eyes closed even thinking about it. Um, get like an eye wash or something at CVS. Do not use tweezers anymore. Oh my goodness. You do not want to cut cornea. Um, as Isaacs, I was a pure dog guy until two ragdoll mixes adopted me and they won my heart. That's awesome, S. Isaacs. I, um, I've known a lot of um, dog lovers that have converted to being cat lovers because of ragdolls. Um, so I understand. Denise, I know I should do a video. I've asked Holly about that. Um, and I think she'd probably be game over time, but she's just kind of old school. Like I still pay her by sending her a check in the mail. So um, I don't know if she'll ever do a video with me, but I'll mention it to her and see what she says. I, I'm sorry. I'm like picking on Trig right now. <laughs> like I like just check him out. That's what my dad says whenever I come over. Don't go anywhere. Um, whenever I come to my parents' house and I pick up um, mostly Camus because Camus doesn't mind s staying with me. Uh, but I, I'll start, like, you know, taking out his eye goobers or looking under his chin, looking in his ears. I always smell their ears like this. Um, Chiggy has pretty yeasty ears, which isn't good means he's got um a little yeast in his diet but she's so rude she is so rude you gotta see this face hold on are you so rude so anyway i'm always constantly picking at them so that's what i was doing as i was reading comments okay what's that oh oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I cannot believe you guys are putting sharp objects in your eyes. What, what is happening tonight? Chiggy, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. So somebody else wrote, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> um, I use a damp toothpick, but flat against the hair, not the tip. Oh my God, I, I did not put, oh my. The hardest thing that I put near my eyes are my fingers when I put in my contacts. I cannot believe you guys put hard objects. Have you not ever cut your cornea? Have you not? Oh my gosh. It is like the worst thing in the world. Um, I cut my cornea one time when I had dropped something in a bush. Like I was at, at a high school party in high school and I had dropped... Uh, like my keys or something outside somebody's home and I bent down to pick it up and the bush cut my cornea and um oh my no stop putting sharp objects near your eyes <laughs> what did your mother teach you um okay <laughs> okay um sorry some some comments aren't worth reading so that's why I, I'm not reading them Uh, 
Oh, uh, well, Mary Ann Brown talking about the pet psychic. I would love to hear what Trig and Charlie have to say. Well, I don't, I mean, mostly I talked to her about things like when I was going on the trip, um, like were there any special requests that Trig had or Charlie had while I was gone um, to make them more comfortable and stuff like that. And Trig actually asked for sliced turkey. I never give him sliced turkey um, unless it's on a sandwich. Like every now and again, I'll go to Jimmy John's and get a sandwich and I really don't like meat, but I'll get some with, um, with a, I'll get like a turkey veggie club or something. And then I'll give all the turkey to Trig. So that was an example of like, she had no idea that I did that. And so at first I was like, what? He wants tur sliced turkey? Like, I don't ever buy turkey at the store and bring it home for him to eat. Why does he want that? And and then she's like, he says you fed him turkey. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll, for my sandwiches. I forgot about that. Um, and it ended up being awesome because when Charlie and Trig get constipated, I give them um, canned pumpkin, like watered-down canned pumpkin, and I syringe it into their mouths. And the um, pet sitter that I used had a really hard time doing that. Charlie is in a box in the bathroom, scratching away at it. Um, so she couldn't get the syringe down. And so she put the canned pumpkin in the turkey and Chiggy ate it. So it ended up working out great. And I just, I've never done that with him. So in, in other words, you can learn a lot. <laughs> Like, try new things with your cat. And the other cool thing is is that um, Holly, who I consult with, um, has talked to so many cats and so many pet owners that she often has some, like, pretty good tips, too, um, of, you know, what to try or what might work. Um, so that's cool. She also talks to, like, horses, dogs. She's talked to everything, guinea pigs, birds. Um, like from parrots to parakeets, um, squirrels. <laughs> so it's pretty funny because some people have pets, um, pet squirrels. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read, um, so Stacy Palmer said, don't worry. I don't touch the tweezers to my eyes or rub them with my fingers until the cat hair is sticking out of my eyeball enough. What? I try to stay near the bottom of my eyes so it isn't near my pupil. <sighs> okay, we got to stop talking about this eye thing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I, I, no. What? Once my cornea was cut, I never want anything sharp near my eye again. Denise says I'll use a damn Q-tip very gently to get cat hair out of my... No! People! Gowie, what are these people doing? Why are they sticking objects into their eyes? Um, yes, if you have an injury to your eye, like cutting your cornea... You can put eye drops to numb the issue. Yes, I know. I had to do that. Miss Astor Dancer has, uh, uses damn Q-tips too. What? What? What is going on, Cheggy? What is happening in the world, Cheggy? What is happening in the world? Everybody's sticking stuff in their eyes. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so handsome. Oh, Denise talking about Chiggy's pumpkin Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey and pumpkin, yes. Um, S. Isaac says, thanks for your broadcast. Fuzzy Nugget wants to play mice. <laughs> Cute. Wendy said, I went to get ice cream in the kitchen and my three-year-old ragdoll stole my seat and went to sleep. And we were living on the wild side. Yes, you are, you people that are sticking stuff in your eyes. Oh, my gosh. Nutters, they're nutties, they're nutty. Go go. All right, guys. Well, my sister just finished um, her evening. She uh, just did her first wedding photo shoot, 
she was the third photographer and she's doing it um, to see if she likes it. And she just phoned me to tell me about it. So I'm gonna stop this because we've been at it for 45, for four, 40 minutes um, and call her back and let Shaggy go. Cause oh, what we gotta look at his face before he goes. Okay, Ray. Oh, that's a nice Shaggy. Say, okay, everybody's gonna see my messy table. Messy little table. Thanks, guys, for watching. This is vlogging live day eight. So, two more days. <laughs> Can you tell they wanted 